Hi everyone, we have we, we were seeing voltage regulator by using Senatio. We have seen line regulation. Two types of regulations are there line and load. Knowing that one line regulation we completed, we are going to see load regulation. Already I told you line regulation means the fluctuation in the supply voltage that is normally happens in all during uh, mainly in the time of rainy season. Fluctuation in supply voltage. How we can avoid by avoid that one by using voltage regulator. Second one is load regulation. Load regulation means load means any electronic equipment we are connecting to the stabilizer that is regulation regulating circuit. Take the case of uh, TV. We are using stabilizer for TV. So from a shop, we purchased one TV, a Samsung TV, with a stabilizer. Then, after operating this one, reaching home within one week, it is complained. We have, we are asking, we want another one and a new TV. It has to replace. So, in that time, another Samsung TV with the same specification we are taking from the shop and connecting to the the same stabilizer because the TV is same so the voltage current power rating are same so stabilizer need not to change even though we are seeing all parameters are same there will be little bit changes in the design of each electronic so actually we are changing the load first TV uh, is the first load then when we are taking the second TV, it is another load. So we change the load. When we change this load, in that situation, what happens? In that situation, the stabilizer should support these two TV because these two TV are uh, these two TV have same voltage, current, and power specification. So the designed stabilizer supposed to support these two TVs. If it is not supporting, then we can understand there is a fault in the design. So, what is the change in the regulation when we are changing the load? That is generally we are saying as load regulation. So, this load regulation Again, we can see this is the figure for load regulation. In this one, supply voltage is fixed. This is the supply voltage. This is fixed. There is no change in this one. The fixed to supply voltage. Then, when supply voltage is fixed, by default, we can understand that the sub supply current also fixed because supply voltage is fixed I mean supply current also fixed so this one is fixed here then load is changing resistance value is changing this does not mean that it is uh, changing in large amount small changes so when imagine the case if load resistance is increased load resistance increase means load current when resistance increase what will happen to current current will decrease so load current will decrease means il is decreased when il is decrease rl increase il decrease so anyway output voltage will be constant but il increase decrease means is is constant constant current is coming constant current is coming but IL is decreasing so what we what what is the solution means 10 ampere is coming 10 ampere is coming and it is 3 plus 7 3 plus 7 since R link is this 7, this value now become as 5. 
5. Then 5 plus 3, it is 8 only. But we 1, it is 10. So, 5 means 7 is decreased by 2. Isn't it? So, we can represent like that. 7 is decreased by 2 angle. That is 5. Then, this decreased to 2, where we can include that one. We have to meet this equation. 3 plus 7 minus 2 plus something that is equal to 10. That is plus 2 that we can add along with this 3. Means the decrease, sorry, this is 2. The decreased value, decreased i in il that will add with the i set. So, i set increase. So, when you are increasing the load resistance, supply currently is decreased, but the IS is constant, it is fixed one. So, by default, I is supposed to increase, provide that voltage across center is constant. V is constant, but I is increasing. Then, opposite case also you can imagine, that is, you are decreasing RL, when you are decreasing RL, IL will be increased. Means IL is increasing. But see, IS is fixed. And IL has to increase. Means that I set is supposed to decrease. That is, by keeping the output voltage constant, I set decreased. So this is the working of load regulation. And its plot, plot is shown here. It is plotting versus the line regulation plotting versus V out and supply voltage, output voltage and supply voltage. Here plot is between output voltage and current, load current. Because the previous case, line regulation Vs versus V out. Here it is load current versus V out. Then its plot is like this percentage of load regulation VNL minus VFL divided by VNL into 100, where VNL means no load. The voltage of this across the center when there is no load, no load means if this is a situation, no load, it is open circuit. Then what is IL? Supply uh, load current, it is zero. IL is zero here. So for the zero IL, what is the load current? Load, what is the voltage across the center? V set, that is no load, VNL. V set at this time, that is equal to VNL. Then, that is the first value. Then second one VFL. Imagine the case the TV have maximum 100 or 1000 ohm resistance or 50,000 resistance, 50k is the resistance of TV. Then we are connecting that resistance here. We are connecting that resistance RL here. Then the value of the I set will decrease. Former case, it is open circuit, ender IS is flowing through center, that is I set. Now we connected here, but we have connected some resistance connected. Then IL start to flow, that is IL increases. This is IL. So initially IL was 0, when you counter resistance full value, it is increased to 1 voltage. Then what is the change in V set? Actually, when there is no any load, we have the load resistance V set as V set VNL. With no load, what is the voltage? Then after we are connecting the resistance, 
what is the change in this V set that is the voltage across the center. So that you can measure the voltage corresponding to this current IF. Then the percentage of load regulation means VNL minus VFL by VNL into 100. That is the change in the no load between no load and full load. The change between no load and full load. When you are not connecting load resistance, what is the voltage across the center? When you are connecting load resistance, what is the voltage across the center? This is changing these two and expressing in percentage. That is load regulation. In ideal situation, the VNL and VFL are supposed to be same. It's supposed to be like this constant. Means load regression, VNL minus VFL, where VNL and VFL are same, means numerator is zero, ideal case is zero for load regulation. So this is load regulation of Senator. Then design of central diode regulator we have seen this session previous previously that is uh, some conditions supposed to be meet the current through the center should be between I set minimum and I set maximum. Then center power rating is should be V set into I set max and the supply voltage minimum that should be greater than center voltage V set. Then there should be minimum value of resistance R minimum to ensure center diode will be remain in the breakdown region. That is, center diode is supposed to be in breakdown region, then only it will operate as a voltage regulator. Then this these are the equation to design center diode. See is yes. that is by KCL we can say is equal to sum of center current and load current is equal to I set plus I L. Then what is is? It is by using Ohm's law or model and we can say voltage at this point minus voltage at this point. Sorry, voltage at this point V S minus voltage at this point that is V set. Vs minus Vs or we can say output voltage Vs V S minus Vs divided by Rs. So Is can be find out by Vs minus Vs by Rs or Vs minus Vs by Rs. Then the maximum load current that is IL maximum when load resistance is minimum. When load resistance is minimum, IL maximum will flow. So the IL maximum is V out by R minimum. Then this I set minimum when minimum I set is flowing maximum I L the maximum current is flowing through I L the minimum value of I set flow through diode because I S is fixed. So in that situation I set minimum is I S minus I L max. Then I L minimum I L minimum means I L minimum means V out divided by RL max. When RL is maximum resistance is maximum minimum current is flowing. Corresponding I set maximum is IS minus IL minimum. So that is the maximum. When IL is minimum, maximum current will flow through center diode. So I set maximum is IS minus IL minimum. Then based on that we can design RS. That is RS maximum is the this is to control the supply current. So Rs maximum Vs max minus V out divided by I set minimum plus I L maximum. That is nothing but I S. Then Rs minimum is Vs max minus V out divided by I set max plus I L minimum. Actually I set plus I L is I S. Then when I set is minimum, I L will be maximum. When I set is maximum, I L will be minimum. So these two together it is I S. So Rs minimum is V S max minus V out divided by I S. So that's about the voltage regulator. By this we conclude the DC regulated supply. Thank you.